Good morning, y'all. It's Hibbley Goddess, downtown Las Vegas. Hey, I need to um, need some help from you guys. I need to start naming these um, little hot tub stories that I'm doing. I don't know if we want to call it Hibbley Goddess Hot Tub, Hot Tub with the Hibbley Goddess. I, I don't know. Um, give me some ideas and I might send you a prize. I don't know, a crystal, some kind of Las Vegas cheesy souvenir autograph picture I don't know whatever you want I'll send um anyway so here's my story for the day I'm off work for a few days but we're not going to talk about that today because it's kind of it'll get me all riled up anyway so the other morning I, I work at um an elementary school which is about 20 minutes from where I live downtown and the other day I'm trying to hit the light all right there we go um, the other day I was driving to school and you know you see all kind of crazy stuff around here and there are some Facebook sites dedicated to all the craziness and pictures that people take while they're out well I can't because the traffic is so heavy most of the time and you got like five or six lanes of traffic going I'm not quick enough to get my camera and take photos but the other morning I was talking to my friend she calls sometimes while I'm driving to school and she's driving to work back in Arkansas because of the time's job. And um, <laughs> I was driving down the <laughs> down the road and I looked over towards this bus stop. I don't know why I even looked, I guess I sensed it. And there was this little old guy just walking down through there and his bare ass hanging out. Like he had a shirt on, but he had no bottoms. And, um, and I, <laughs> I had to look twice because some of the homeless people sadly are just filthy I mean they're so dirty that you sometimes and tan because they're out in the sun so much sometimes you don't know really if they got on clothes or not I mean it's it's bad but anyway this guy he had no bottoms like no underwear no nothing and of course I was trying to crane my neck <laughs> backwards to see the front but I didn't want to have a wreck. But you know the weird thing about this was, was that there were people sitting at the bus stop and nobody even acted like it was abnormal. I mean, that that's the crazy beauty of this city is that, you know, I can go to Walmart in leggings or, you know, whatever I want, which back home I wouldn't go out in public in leggings except for the gym because I felt like they were indecent. But out here, I go to Walmart naked. Nobody look at me twice. <laughs> So it's a crazy world, guys. Um, anyway, so along that note, um, we have a lot of students at school right now that are really struggling because they've been <laughs> locked up for 18 months. So they're they're wild. They're like little, you know, wild animals right now. And we had a, I can't, I've got to be careful the way I say this, but we, when I have to carry a radio, and so when. Um, when, when assistance is needed for a particular student, they will say the initials of the student. And we're beginning to learn, you know, the student's initials and the ones that are problematic at times. And so the other day we, <laughs> the lady in the front who's a good friend of mine, she has the sweetest little voice. It's just the sweetest little voice. And she got on the radio and, um, I heard, I couldn't believe I heard it. I heard all radios, all radios. Student XYZ is running down the hall with no clothes on, all radios. And nobody responded. Like, I didn't know if I'd heard right. So I got on there and I said, repeat please. Nobody responded. And later, <laughs> later when I talked to her, she said nobody even like called back on the radio to find out what was going on well unbeknownst to her and and me everybody was running to get this kid is what it was but anyway so <laughs> so I was talking to another teacher in the lunchroom and she said did she say what I thought she said and I said yeah I had to go verify with her up front she goes tell me the story tell me the story anyway this kid apparently got fed up very young grade and um took his mask off because you know we got mask on kindergartners on up here took his mask off and then decided he was just going to strip off and take all his clothes off and he went running down the hall sounds good to me right are you fed up i'm kind of fed up too so point of this takeaway is just like the little old man on the scooter the other day 
just keep moving forward and if you got to take your clothes off and run down the hall to do it then hell why not right so <laughs> you see facebook photos of little hillbilly goddess running naked down through uh downtown las vegas you know i've just had my can full love y'all have a good day